Welcome back everyone. Happy Christmas Eve Eve to you. That means it's Wednesday the 23rd. Hope you're all doing well today. Um, just got home from work. So we got a little bit of PM edition because of the fact that, uh, yeah, it gets dark at like five o'clock now. Uh, so PM edition today. And we are keeping the streak alive. We are up to nine days and counting now, uh, nine mail delivery days that we have had returns. So as you can see, we've got four returns that came in today. Um, two of them out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, one out of Tampa, Florida, and one out of Boston, Massachusetts. So what this tells me is that there is a bunch of snowbirds down in Florida right now that are checking their mail or something like that. So uh, let's go ahead and hop in and see what the day has brought us. Let's, um, let's start with Boston. Well, let's go ahead and start up there in Boston. Um, so this is a uh, relatively quick return, I can just tell, because I had a batch of... These are the, um, the, the postage stamps that you can get printed out at the kiosks, and you'll notice that this is all blank right here. Um, the little barcode, whatever they use with it, was supposed to be here, and it ended up here. So all this stuff printed upside down. Um, so I know that these, I got these stamps back at the beginning of December, so this is a return that has been out less than three weeks already. Alright, cool. So recently we had gotten back in the mail um, Ken Hodge Sr. Well, today we got back Jr. Ken Hodge Jr. So got the father and son duo going on, and I don't think they ever made a card of the two of them together. I'll have to take a look and see, because both father and son um, both sign. Um, but Ken signed a nice 5 of 5 for us here. Um, got his Young Guns rookie card, uh, 91 score traded card, which was one of his rookies. Um, 91, 92, 92, 93 upper deck, and then um, 91, 92 score. So um, got a nice little bit of uh, a mix there. So um, really good, solid return. Um, again, he came back probably two weeks' time or so. So good start right there. Um, and a Young Guns cart I did not have signed yet. So um, kind of neat with that. All right. Moving on, let's head down to Tampa. So again, we know that this one hasn't been out more than a couple of weeks because that same style stamp on it. And we got a nice little Christmas seal on there. So that's kind of neat. So let's see. This, this hopefully means that we got a positive return if they took the time to put a little Christmas seal on there. All right. So what we got back here is a New York Met. Bob Baylor. Um, this one, yeah, hadn't been out all that long. Uh, Bob signed a nice 4 of 4 for me and got another 83 tops met sign there. So that's uh, that's neat. I probably have got 5 or 6 of those signed now just of the Mets from the 83 set. So we've got the 82 and 83 tops, the 82 Donruss, and I believe this one is 83? Yeah, 83 Fleer. So signed 4 of 4 and a nice uh, blue Sharpie. Um, so came out really good and you can kind of see that. Yeah, look at how close his autograph is there the 82 tops um, They put the facsimile signatures on there and you can see that even you know so many years later That yeah, the autograph still holds up very very similar to uh, how it looked back then All right, so now we are heading down to West Palm Beach Let's go ahead and go with this one here. This is a really, really thin envelope here, so um, I'm not sure what this one is here. It's going to be either something like Coca-Cola cards, or it could be um, a guy that maybe I just sent one out to, or something along those lines. But let's see here. All right, so, um, well, I was right about it being one, um, but it's what I got back was one. Greg Anthony, um, former... New York Nick um, signed one of however many I sent out to him. I think it was either maybe like three or four. Um, but he decided to keep the rest of them. Um, but okay, that's that's fine. Um, but yeah, signed the one for me. So he is a guy I had not had yet. So I'm happy to get that back. And 
I'll have to take a look at his autograph because that little kind of crookedness there on the end of the Y for Anthony, I don't know if maybe he ran out of space or went off the card, and you can kind of see he kind of definitely went over there. So, um, but hey, a uh, solid return regardless. So a nice, uh, nice little get there. And then lastly, we have got another return here out of West Palm Beach. Now, contrary, this one is very thick, and it's got something inside of it as well. Um, some type of a card or a letter in here to go along with everything. All right, so we've got that there. I'm wondering if that was just for protection purposes. Uh, let's see. Okay, so he says, I'm returning them to you inside. The picture on these cards is not me. The information is correct, but the company used the wrong photo. I contacted the company long ago, yada, yada, yada. So that right there, that particular um, uh, between the pipes card is not him. So that's what he was referring to, but did sign uh, these other two here. So um, this was from the 0405 in the game franchises. And then this was the other Be A Player card from that set. So um, this particular one here, yeah, not him. Um, but the other one from that same set is. So interesting there. So just to kind of see a little bit more about what it says. Information is correct, but the company used the wrong photo. I contacted the company a long time ago to let them know the, the mistake, which they acknowledged. But these cards are already in circulation. If you have any cards with my real photo on them that you would like me to sign, I would be happy to do so. Hope to hear from you. Regards, Denny Heron. So, there we go. Um, so, yeah, I can't even say that that's not a success because it's not him, so no problem with that. So, uh, 404 on the day for our returns, we ended up with, I'm just going to go with a 2 of 2 on Denny Heron. Uh, one of... I don't know, we'll say three, <laughs> with uh, Greg Anthony. A nice 4-4 return from Bob Baylor. And then a uh, very solid 5-5 return from Ken Hodge Jr. So, all together here, uh, we ended up with uh, a dozen autographs for the day, over four returns. So, um, good stuff there, um, for sure. And uh, Bob Baylor was a Met that I did not have yet, so that's a nice add. Uh, the Ken Hodge Young Gun I did not have yet. I didn't have a Greg Anthony in my Knicks collection, so that's a nice get there. And then um, a couple of old schools there. Um, well, retro cards, we'll say. Not old school in the truest sense, but um, a couple of cool cards there from Mr. Heron. So, um, all together, nice day. Um, so, that will put a uh, bow on today's returns. Um, just following up from uh, our last video there with the Mets package that uh, I had bought of all the minor league cards. So it was a 200 card lot. Uh, when I did go through it, I've already pulled out 50 of those cards that I needed for various team sets where I was actively working on the team set. So um, that's a heck of a... Uh, of an ad there that 25% of that lot I needed for specifically for team sets and there's still a couple more that I've got to go through so that number is going to go higher and then there's uh, there was some really neat uh, neat little finds in there um, so it was it was very much worth it for me to pick that lot up and I actually reached back out to the guy and I've got another hundred count lot that's coming that won't be until um, after Christmas because it just got shipped today, um, so it ain't showing up uh, tomorrow. So maybe maybe in time for the weekend it'll get here, but in all likelihood it'll probably be early next week. So um, we'll look forward to seeing that on a future video. But for today, that's all we got. Um, as always, I appreciate everyone spending the time with us today. Um, hope you enjoyed uh, the returns here and was informative. Um, as always, feel free to hit me up in the comments section if you have any questions or any feedback for me. Always happy to help, and uh, I love interacting with everyone, so keep those comments coming. And um, until next time, I uh, hope everybody stays safe out there. Have fun with whatever it is you do, and I uh, hope your mailboxes stay full of ink. So until next time, see ya!